Jane, where are you? Where the hell is she? She disappeared bloody quick. There's a porta potty there. Maybe she's in there. This is a house by the river. You'd think this would be an okay location, because my thought right now looking at this building is like, go upstairs, break the stairs or something, though that's probably a bit ambitious. I oh know, she's just chilling on a park bench, having herself a picnic. Oh, hey. Yellow. Hey. What are you doing? Getting lost in thought. Not the safest habit to have these days. Well, it's sometimes good to have someone watching your back. So, come on, partner. Let's go check out that deck. I like the height. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Being elevated would be good. Unless they just pile up on top of each other. You know, you don't seem okay. Huh? Well, yeah, but who is okay? Let's just focus on this right now. I hope this place is what we're looking for. God knows we could use a break. Damn straight. Now look, it's even got a gate at the top of the stairs. That's pretty good. Check Had locked. Out. This gate's still locked, which means that hopefully no one's gotten to whatever was locked in there in the first place. Who knows what could be in there? If it's locked, maybe there's still food. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Hmm, maybe I can pick the lock. The nail file? Versatility is not overrated. You know, uh, it wouldn't hurt to try a heavier hand with this thing. See if you can find something bigger. We might need to bust the mechanism. Her lockpicking skill is clearly not leveled up high enough. Uh, Alright, find something heavy. Look at this shit. Old cannon here. Is this like a tourist attraction or something? You think this thing still works? <laughs> Check the muzzle, Napoleon. Oh. They fill them with cement so they're safe. Damn. That'd be awesome if that worked. Just lob some uh, cannons out at some walkers. Let's have a look at the telescope. Beautiful bit of the country. I guess um, it's broken. If it wasn't in the middle of a zombie apocalypse, it'd be quite nice, wouldn't it? Alright, what's in here? Civil War. Ah, it's a Civil War monument. I wonder why I saw a post of Abe Lincoln before. Let's check the bin. Find anything? No, not even trash. Damn, I like rummaging through trash. It's a hobby of mine, a pastime. Alright. Alright, honest Abe. Um, direct me to something heavy. Okay, apparently apparently I can't go in any further. But fair enough. There's an invisible wall stopping me. Abe, you son of a bitch, let me in. Uh, I haven't found anything then. There's another one of these things. Maybe this one's working? Oh, it is. I'm probably going to spot something I don't like. There's some buildings like. across the river. I think I can see a church. The nearest river crossing is miles up. Rebecca wouldn't make it in her condition. Holy shit, who's that? Jane, there's someone coming toward us. Shit, shit, shit. He's coming this way. And who knows if he has friends nearby. Why is he coming up here? No idea. But we should scope him out and see what he's up to. I don't like having some stranger sneaking around so close to the others. We've got enough on our plates with a baby coming. Last thing we need is someone telling their friends about the new easy targets in the neighborhood. I'll distract him so you can sneak up behind him. Good call. Shit. Hide now. It looks like he has a busted leg, so you are honestly not too concerned about him. And he's wearing glasses. What are four eyes? He's probably into them computer games or something. Nerd. Hey, buddy. Hey. Whoa. Calm down. I'm just a kid. Please, don't hurt me. Shaky. 
Who are you? I am Arvo. I'm going to go. I don't want to shoot. They call me an Arvo. Especially, малинка девочка, little girl. You don't have to shoot anyone. Just put the gun down. Get him, Jane. Good job. Take that, Ruski. Put the bag down. Clem, make sure he doesn't have any other weapons in there. It's probably just full of vodka. He looks really angry that I lied to him. No, I have no more guns. Oh, holy I crap. We just need to make sure you're not a threat. Lots of medicine in there. That could be useful for the baby and... Anything? All of that. Whoa. That's a serious stash of meds. No, 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 no. Take whatever you want, but don't take the medicine. It's for my sister. My older sister, she's sick. The pain makes her cry and that makes those things come. Please. Is it just you and your sister? No. I have many friends in the woods. Sister or not, we could really use that stuff. No, you are not nice people. You have already left me defenseless, and now you, you take my sister's medicine? You are worry. Hey, we've got people who are suffering. Who need this medicine? Luke's still a wreck after Carver's. Kenny's a mess. Rebecca's in pain. Look at all of it. Clementine, we need People that stuff. People are suffering just as much as yours. You are not special. Ah, shit. Clementine, yes, you must believe We don't believe, believe a fucking word about it. I don't know if I believe him. my sister suffer. She has been through enough. Oh, yeah? Well, I think you're just some junk. Primarily because he's Russian. You know what Russian. that word means, huh? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm telling the truth. Better dead than red. Let's take the bag. I don't believe any of this. Medicine. Clem I'm sorry, Arvo. We need these. You will fish. You hadn't done this. <laughs> no, what are you doing? Oh shit. You don't have to do this. Jane, what are you doing? Don't do it, don't Jane. You ever come around here again. I don't care if you do have some sick sister. The next time I see you, you won't just be walking away. Go. Get out of here, peg leg. Can't believe I've gotten into this mess. Taking some stupid kid's stuff. Like a bandit. I thought we were just gonna talk to him. I needed to make sure he didn't come back here again. I feel horrible now that I took that medicine. To and bring everybody back here. I feel really get bad. Place open. Then we need to get moved in ASAP. I've avoided doing that like throughout all of season one and this series because even though civilization's gone to shit, you still gotta be civil. And I just went against everything I believe in. And I do feel horrible for it. But I also don't trust him. Can't trust Russians, haven't you ever watched a movie? They're always the bad guys. <laughs> Clem! Clem, hey! Any luck with that observation dick? I was just checking on Rebecca and Kenny. They said they hadn't heard from me in a while. I don't guess there'd be much, but Jane seems pretty resourceful. Shouldn't you be with Rebecca? No, no. Kenny's way more help with Rebecca than I could be. I'm just making sure we keep track of where everyone is. Is Jane still up there now? Yeah. She's trying to get the gift shop opened. You know, I can't figure her out. I mean, she really lays it on the line, but... At the same time, she doesn't show you anything that counts. I like her. She's honest, and she knows what she's doing. Yep. That's more than I can say for some. Jane seems like the kind of person who gets tempered by hardship, you know? But when I look at Kenny now, he just... He seems broken. And broken people get reckless. I know you got a history with him. Look, I think he's a good guy. At least started as a good guy. You're wrong. Kenny's stronger than anyone. He tries to protect us. I don't know, Clem. I used to think that, that maybe all the horror hadn't gotten to you yet. But you watched your friend murder Carver. Not just kill him, but... Clem, you didn't even blink. Look, I regret that. 
I really regret that. But he did deserve it. Carver deserved what happened to him. He was a bad man. No question about that. I'm just hoping we don't become the same. I feel like I am slowly getting hardened to this world. Some of the decisions I've made recently. Tell the others about the deck. Yeah, good. I will, uh, I'll see you back there. Are an indication of that. I'm starting to feel like I'm looking out for Numero Uno a bit too much. My heart's become like steel. I'm not supposed to be in labor yet, Kenny. What if something's wrong? Nothing's wrong. Babies know how to be born. Clementine. What'd you find? The building around back has an observation deck. Somewhere the baby will be safer? It's coming so much faster than I thought. It's high up, so it should be safe from walkers. Sounds good. As soon as Mike and Bonnie are back, we'll go. Hey, Clem. Glad you made it back safe. How are you feeling? Scared. And it hurts. <laughs> I wish Alvin was here. He's in heaven now with the chipmunks. Uh, everything he did was for you and the baby. Yeah, that sounds about right. Everything Alvin did was for you and the baby. Back at Carver's. In the office. He stayed behind to stop the people chasing us. He died to keep us safe. Jesus. Of course. Of course he did. I know it's a waste of time, but I can't stop thinking about things I should have said to him. Things I should have talked to him about. Alvin told me that he thinks the baby's gonna be a girl. Oh yeah? That big dummy never did have a sense for these things. I've got a feeling this one's a boy. You're a good kid, Clementine. I'm glad you'll be there to watch out for this baby. Ugh. Oh shit. I got this. We ain't seen Mike or Bonnie in a while, and I'm not saying I don't trust them, but I'd appreciate it if you went and checked up on them. Yeah, go on ahead. I'll be fine. This group is falling apart a little bit, like no one trusts anyone anymore. First it's, oh we don't trust Jane to go alone, and now it's, oh we don't trust Bonnie or Mike. To be fair, Bonnie did betray us once, uh, but then she helped us, but then that also makes me not trust her that much, because she was just flip-flopping sides all over the place. Though anyone betraying Carver, in my mind, was doing the right thing, because he's a fucking nut job. Hey, Clem. I thought you went with Jane. She didn't take off, did she? Take off? Why do you think she'd take off? Yeah. She's trying to get the place we found ready for Rebecca. Well, that's good. Just give me like ten more minutes to search around. He doesn't want to go back empty-handed. <laughs> I just want to help. Alright, well let's have a look around the museum then. Get just ourselves a history lesson. In here. I don't want nothing sneaking up on us. That I sounds smart. Side, you watch the other. Deal. Ah, a water cooler. Can we get some fresh water? Shoot the ship by the water cooler. Empty. You think maybe they say that stuff about water and blankets just to get people out of the way? Oh, you don't know what the hell you're talking about. And you didn't have to come with me. No, I wanted to. Never mind. Let's talk to Mike, if we can. Don't know much about him. He just kind of sure joined us. Sure, we find something to take back. Me too. Seems like an alright guy though. From what we've seen so far, he's been pretty helpful. Bonnie? Where the hell's Bonnie? There's a bust over here. Look at souvenirs. Alrighty. There have sure been some. Oh, what's that? Souvenirs, huh? Looking for a keychain with your name on it? No. Why would I want a keychain? I don't even have any keys. Ah, oh, good point. <laughs> Jane said these don't work anymore. Nah, they're just for show. Be handy though. Also really loud. 
Good point. But it'd be fun. Don't try and kill our fun, Bonnie. Damn it, Buzzkiller. Just want to fire cannons at people. We have a Civil War coat here. Oh, maybe this will be thicker than our jacket. And we can uh, listen hey, to what Jane said. Hey, look at this. An old coat. Nice. Good fan, Clem. You should hang on to that. It's going to get a lot colder before it starts getting warmer. Kenny said we need blankets. It's not really a blanket, but... But it should do the trick. Good call. Yeah, we can wrap the baby in it. that old coat I gave you. I feel so bad about everything that happened. Hopefully you won't always think of me like that. Not that I blame you if you did. I haven't always used the best judgment. You finally opened your eyes about Carver and what a bad person he was. That's something. Yeah. Clem found a jacket. That's great, but uh, isn't Gray the, you know, uh... <laughs> we can't put Rebecca in a confederate coat. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Guess it's better than nothing, though. Yeah, who the hell cares at this point in time? Like, I really, it's the last thing you'd be worrying about. At least we have something warm to wrap the baby in. Lee would have loved this place. It's true, he was a history yeah. teacher. No, do you see anything good? Not so far, but let's give the place a good going over. What about these flags and stuff hanging around? We could rip some of those down, potentially. That's what I was thinking, like this. I tell you, I sure don't like being near a graveyard with the world the way it is now. The way things are now, you're in a graveyard all the time. Yeah, true enough. What, did no one think to check in the ticket box? How have you two survived this long if he didn't even think to try the ticket box? Or they might have already. And we're going to be told that. Okay, so what about in here? Nothing in the box. Mike was looking at this before, so I assume there's nothing in here. What's in your box? Diamond nose. Oh no, there's the handle. Okay, right, I'll go back to my original point. How has Mike survived this long? He couldn't even see the move the box to try and open this. That fresh Over water? <gasps> Amazing. Water. Bottled and clean. That's just what we need. It's locked. You wanna kick it down? That'd make an awful lot of noise. Yeah, maybe. You know, if somebody was small enough, <laughs> they could maybe squeeze through that gap there. I could try to pry it open some more, but I don't know if that'll help much. All right, all right. I'll go. Thanks, Clem. Just open the door from the other side. Mike will carry those things out. Might be a bit heavy for you. It's a bit patronizing. I'm stuck. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I push from... Oh shit, that actually made me fucking jump, wow! Get out of here! Oh god. So we had to kick our way in anyway, okay. Holy crap. Mike's a beast. Shank. Well... That happened. <laughs> exactly. Ugh. Thanks, Mike. Yeah, no problem. I'm so sorry about that, Clementine. We should have been more careful. At least now we got something to bring back. I'll keep checking the other room. Let's get this water. I also think I hear walkers faintly in the background. Well, that's the wind blowing. I'm not going to be able to list this. Jesus, it's as big as me. Hey, I got this. That looks pretty heavy. Uh, it's all right. I know it looks like a lot, but we could all go through this pretty quick. Carver was crazy, but at least his shells were always full. We'll make a plan. Everyone will have enough. I hope so. That baby's gonna be hard on everyone, especially Rebecca. And between you and me, she's not looking too good. Hey, guys! 
Come on. Stick close. What have you spotted? I just walked on in like I'd owned the place. Figure it'd make a nice meal. We can eat raccoon? I'd eat the shit out of that raccoon. <laughs> <laughs> Not like... I mean, just, just that I'd be really happy to eat that raccoon. I am starving. Fresh meat would go a long way with Rebecca. Yeah. Oh, he looks pissed don't off. Get away. I don't want to chase a raccoon. It could have rabies. Where is it? Why don't we just do what Mike said and there. eat it shit? Over here. Oh, there it is. Jesus. That thing looks fucking demonic like it's been possessed. Oh, oh. I'm going for it. Oh, crap. Dang it. Don't, don't, Mike. Not a good idea. Not a good idea. Not with the walkers out there. Yeah. Aww. Feel bad now. I'm even hungrier than I was before. <laughs> Just eat the shit, Mike. How'd you I sick bastard. Where I'm sad, I'm not eating raccoon. <laughs> well, at least it was kind of fun. Yeah. Huh. I guess it was. Come on. Let's just get this back to Rebecca and the others. Mike has a weird fetish. I can't believe what he wanted to do with that raccoon. It's a bit odd. Thought he was a pretty normal guy. 